Hello, hello. Welcome to week seven of Little Self Care Moments. It's our holiday series geared towards taking care of ourselves, even when things feel super busy and sometimes heavy during the holiday season. For those of you that don't know us, we are Little Words Chief Wellness Officers. We want you to think of us as our guides to help you find your own kind of wellness in mind, body, and spirit. We are here every step of the way, helping you take your little words and putting them into action. So before we get into today's topic, we want to remind you, if you have not marked your calendars, that we have an incredible online workshop happening on December 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern, where we're going to be focusing on setting our intentions for the new year. Stay tuned for more details and you are definitely not going to want to miss it. So as I introduce myself, I am Stephanie and we want to share a topic on our final week that is often overlooked around all the things that are going on in the holiday season and that is staying connected to our higher selves and aligning with our intuition. Yes, this is such a beautiful topic at this time of year and all time of year. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kitty, and I want to just start by defining what our higher self actually is. What does it mean? In the realm of wellness and self-care, our highest self refers to our most genuine, authentic, and fulfilled self. I like to also think about our higher self as that part of us that just loves us unconditionally, that always has the best intentions for us believes in us fully, right? It's the version of ourselves that is not drained by stress, that is not going into self-doubt, that is not, you know, looking at external validation or external comparing, pressures, yes. comparing all of those things. So how do we stay connected to this version of ourselves through all of this busyness? Let's get into it, right? During this season, it's really easy to lose touch with our inner selves and our intuition between all of the social gatherings, moving to, from one place to the other. It's like, oh, we can barely even catch our breath, right? So we want to share with you five different ways to come back, to connect with your intuition, to connect with your higher self. And the first way is actually going back to that week one of little self-care moments where we set our intentions for the holidays. Look back on the intention that you set and just ask yourself, how have I honored this intention during the holidays? How do I want to continue to honor this intention in what's left of these holidays? The second thing that we want to share with you is actually taking a moment to like speak to your higher self. First thing in the morning, connect with your higher self. You can close your eyes and really just think, okay, higher self. You can visualize this version of you in your mind. What do I most need to hear from you today? The third practice that we want to share with you is coming back to mindfulness, whether it's through meditation, a little bit of yoga, just moving your body, or just taking a few moments to ground, to come back to your breath. Mindfulness can help you really ground and connect with that inner wisdom that you hold within. Steph, why don't you walk us through the, the final three ways to connect with our higher self? Yeah, I love that. And it's so important to keep those three in mind. We'll give you an extra bonus one. So the next one is prioritizing self-care, right? And for you to start remembering, like, what does self-care look to me, right? Like for me, self-care is waking up before my family does, right? Having an hour or two in the morning where it's like Steph time is so important for you. Self-care might be getting your nails done or getting a massage or going to, you know, walk in the park. So prioritizing your self-care for you to feel like your cup is full is so important in learning to connect with your intuition and your higher self. Now, the fifth one is staying true to your values, right? Like what is important to you? For you, your values might be quality time with your family, or a value is, you know, funny and humor, or maybe you do things that make you laugh, right? Or connecting with your community and you want to go to your local church or your local community uh, gathering and be with others, like do the things that you value, because that's when you're going to be connected with your higher self and your intuition. And from that place, you're able to give to others and actually enjoy the holiday season. And last but not least is trusting yourself, right? Sometimes you're like, oh, I shouldn't do that, but so-and-so, they want me to be there. Or it's really important for my parents, but you know, I I'm just not feeling it trust yourself, like follow your instincts. Sometimes we end up like second guessing ourselves. And then you come back home and you're like, 
I really shouldn't have done that, right? So trusting yourself and, and trusting in your ability to make decision is so important. So that is like a very brief overview of connecting with your higher self, connecting with your intuition. We hope that you've enjoyed our series of little self-care moments. Everything we shared over the past seven weeks isn't something to just do during the holiday season. This is something that you get to practice day in and day out, truly for the rest of your lives. So to wrap up this incredible seven weeks, we want to remind you, and Katie's going to talk a little bit more about our intention setting workshop that's happening on December 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern. So Katie, tell us a little bit more about it and, uh, you know, all the details that everybody needs to know. Yes. So, you know, I'm a little bit sad that little self-care moments is done for now, but this is just leading us to a moment where we can actually be together. This will be a live workshop. Well, you can see our faces. We can see your faces online through zoom but still we get to like connect be together with the nice nation community and set our intentions for 2024 right we have a beautiful opportunity to get connected with what we want to create for the year ahead get really connected with like our deepest desires what our heart really wants and make it happen for next year. So keep an eye out in your inbox for all the details to come. But for now, mark your calendars, December 28th, 7 p.m. Eastern. We can't wait to see you there. Remember, this journey to wellness is not a destination. It's definitely not a destination for Steph and I. It is a journey. It's a path that we get to practice all the time none of it is about perfection. So together let's practice and really get into self-care, love, positivity as a community. We can't wait to see you there and have a beautiful rest of your day, rest of your week. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Bye, you everyone. all. <laughs>